what's up youtube welcome back to my channel if you're struggling with technical analysis maybe you have a problem in identifying trends drawing support and resistance levels or even identifying chart patterns well i would say not anymore because in this video i'm going to show you the coolest thing that you ever see right now and i'm talking about a set of tools that automate your technical analysis from drawing chart patterns to drawing support and resistance levels automatically for you without any hassle so let's jump into the video and I will show you how to get all of this with just one click. So these tools that automate your technical analysis are called Chart Prime Trading Suite. So to get these tools you need two things. Number one you need to use TradingView for your analysis. TradingView is just a platform like MetaTrader where you go and do your analysis while pressing your trades on your phone as usual whenever you want to do so. But also you need to get access to these tools by creating an account with Chart Prime. If you want to know how to create an account with Chart Prime step by step then I would suggest to view the video whose link will be found in the description below. For I already have an account with Chart Prime, I will go straight into the market using TradingView and I will show you how these tools work. So first step is I'm going to go to the indicators part. Once you are in the indicator section, you're going to see a list of categories here. But if you create your account with Chart Prime, you're going to see a button which says invite only scripts. So these invite only scripts are the scripts that are going to get from the Chart Prime. So the package that I have subscribed to has candlestick pattern, the chart pattern, the chart prime escalator, market oracle, peak seeker and lastly support and resistance bundle. So I'm going to show you how all of this works in just few minutes. But first, I'm going to start off with chart patterns, which I think is the most important one because mostly traders need to use chart patterns, but they don't know how to draw chart patterns well or correctly. So first we are going to see how this tool is automatically going to be drawing chart patterns for you on your screen. So all you need to do is find when the pattern is broken and then you enter into the trade. If you don't understand when to confirm when the pattern is actually broken, this tool is going to give you an X right here, which it is a sign to show you that the pattern is now broken. So here is where you'll be pressing your trades because your chart pattern has been broken successfully. So the next thing that you need to do here is do your risk management and press your trades and then expect to make money. And speaking about making money, I'm going to show you if this is actually even profitable or not. But first, let me show you the different sections that you need to know about this chart pattern here. So if you go to the chart pattern and you click on the settings bar here, this indicator settings will come up. We have the line settings first, which is the deletion period of candles. So the deletion period of candles is the number of candles it will take to draw the chart patterns. So the more the deletion period, the bigger the chart pattern. And also we have this sensitivity, which is going to help you to calculate the size of the chart patterns and how frequent are you going to be getting the chart patterns. You can change these settings to whatever you want, right? But also there is a setting here which is called the preset settings. These are the settings that were previous back tested by Chart Prime. And we have extra large, big, and medium. So I think you can choose on this depending on what type of trader are you. If you are a scrapper, then you may need to use small patterns. If you are a swing trader, you may need to use big patterns, right? Now let me show you if this is actually even profitable or not. So to do that, I joined this group called the Discord group of Chart Prime to see if there are other people out there in the world who are making money from this. And I found out that there's a lot of people who are very active in these groups, right? And they're showing their profits, as you can see for yourself on the screen, because you know what they say in the streets, eyes do not lie. So you can check out this Discord group for yourself. And also, I will put the link of it in the description below for you to join it. Within this Discord group, you can get different indicators, but also a good thing if you join the premium membership, you're going to be getting Forex signals and crypto signals here. Now, getting back to our indicators, let's go ahead and look into the support and resistance bundle. So the support and resistance bundle is a bundle which is going to be drawing support and resistance for you automatically. So for example, if you wanted to trade with conference here, this was a very good trade. And also you can see that you can make a lot of profit with these tools alone. 
So let's go into the settings. In here, you can enable support and resistance zone, or you can even delete them. Because some traders may say, okay, I don't want to use support or resistance, and I want to use order brokes. So you can just do that by coming here and enable order brokes. And then you can change the settings of them around maximum breakouts. You can also enable predictive ranges. These are ranges where the market is likely to go. So all these ranges are good in determining take profits and stop losses points. Now let me show you another indicator. Only this time I'm going to show you the chart prime oscillator. So most of you will like to use the RSI. But the other side of the problem when using RSI it is that it is not accurate most of the time. So here is the better version of the RSI. And there are two reasons why I'm saying this because this one um, was created to automatically detect things like a divergence for you. So as you can see, we have green lines here, which shows you divergence in the market, right? So when you see the difference, you know that the market is about to reverse. Also, the other thing is you can see here, we have the green color here. This green color shows you when the market is going in an uptrend, right? And the red color is showing you when the market is strongly in a downtrend. So you can also choose to use this to identify trends. If you have trouble in identifying trends, this tool is the best for you. So next, I'm about to show you another indicator here called the market oracle. This tool is mainly used to show you possible reversals. So when the market is about to reverse, it tells you uh, when the possible reversal is about to happen. So you can combine this two with the other indicators from here to get best results. First, let me show you the different settings of it. You can change the signal mode here and you can put it to trend mode. If you put it to trend mode, it's going to be showing you different trends. When the market is on a strong uptrend, it tells you that the market is on a strong uptrend. When the market is on a strong downtrend, it tells you that the market right now is on a strong downtrend. The other good thing here is we have these lines which are very good as you can use them as your stop loss or take profit levels. Now let me show you the last one which is um, the peak seeker. This tool shows you when the pullback is about to happen. So here we have what we see, it reads PB, which simply means this is a pullback, which is about to happen. Don't confuse PB with the lead sign for you science takers, uh, especially the chemistry students. So these tools, if you combine them right, you can make a lot of money, right? So you can change the settings here to change the sensitivity. If you decrease the sensitivity, then you are going to be getting more signals. And also, if you increase the sensitivity, you are going to be getting lesser signals. So here you can see it shows you here that the higher values should be used on higher time frame and the lower values should be used on the lower time frame. So you can go ahead and change and tune these settings here or you can just put uh, to auto optimization and then you click OK and it's going to be doing optimization for you automatically, right? Now think about it. Are you going to try and learn all of these things in the next five years or are you just going to grab these tools right now? For me, I already have an account with Chat Prime and I have grabbed these tools. So what do you want to do right now is you want to go to the description of this video and click that link and simply go to chatprime.com and get instant access today.